Hey Travel Bugs, welcome to Travel Lux. If you're here, you're looking for some tips on what to pack in your carry-on. When we're on a flight, we wanna be as comfortable as possible and we wanna have everything we need at arm's length, especially on long flights. Before we get into the business of this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow us on social media. Also, after you watch this video, visit the website, travellux.com. There you will find our shop, some great blog posts with travel tips. And as the website grows, I will be adding information, suggestions, guides on places and things to check out in cities all around the world. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's jump in. The first thing you wanna figure out is what type of bag you want to use as your carry-on. Some people like totes, some people like book bags. I am partial to backpacks. I think they are easier than totes. They're better for your back because you're not walking around like this with weight on your shoulder. The specific type of backpack that I like is the style known as a diaper bag. These type of backpacks have a two-way zipper at the top. So when you open the bag, you can see straight into the bottom. Um, in this particular bag, there are a bunch of sleeves on the inside, different compartments. There's a sleeve for a tablet and devices. There's a sleeve for your wallet, your pens. So everything will stay nicely organized. Later in the video, I'm going to show you how I like to organize all of my things in this backpack. The very first thing that you should pack in your carry-on is your travel wallet. Your travel wallet should have your passport, your cards, your cash, all of your credentials, and this should be the first thing, the first thing that goes into your carry-on. I can't stress it enough. The first thing. Most people when they travel, they like to work while they're on the road, they like to read, they like to watch videos. So typically everyone usually will have some sort of laptop or tablet. Of course, you're going to need your cell phone. And sometimes people like to carry a separate camera for video and photos. With all those devices, you're going to have a lot of cords, a lot of chargers, memory cards. So to keep all of those organized and in one place, I suggest picking up a pouch like this one that'll keep all of those cords and memory cards organized and in one place so you don't lose them. This pouch I found at Marshalls and this is from the brand Travelon. With all of those devices, you're going to need extra power. If you're on a really, really long flight, you're going to use your devices to death. And if you're at the airport and the charging stations are all taken up, this is going to be your savior. When you're looking for a battery pack, you're going to want to note this number right here. It's the MAH number. This determines how powerful or how much, I guess, energy or power um, the battery will hold. This battery charges up to seven times. I also found this in Marshalls. It's a brand LAX. It was way lighter than all of the other chargers. And I really like that this battery has a light indicator. All these power banks don't have an indicator. So you can't tell how much more juice this has before you have to charge it again. The next must have are a good pair of headphones. Headphones are very personal. Some people like earbuds. Some people like the type that you put, you know, over your head. And for flights, I happen to like the type of headphones that go over your head. These types of headphones offer noise cancellation and most of the time they are Bluetooth. So if you are going to use your headphones with the other devices that you bring, your tablet, your phone, you won't have to fuss with a cord. If you're looking to purchase a set of headphones like these, make sure it has an auxiliary port so that you can plug in your headphones to the airplane's TV. Next, let's talk about sleeping on a plane. This is one of probably the hardest thing to do for many. Some people are able to just 
knock out on a plane with no problem. So you have to do a little trial and error with this. Try out different travel pillow options to see what works best for you and how you're most comfortable falling asleep on a plane. There is a plethora of options out there. You just have to try them out and see what works for you. I personally cannot sleep sitting straight up. I tend to lean or fall forward or lean or fall over to the sides. So I've tried a bunch of pillows. Um, I've tried like the neck pillows. I've tried like the turtle, I think it's called, where it's kind of like a neck brace situation. It's And it's supposed to catch your head like if you do lean forward or you do lean to the side, but that's not enough for me. Like my whole body falls forward. So the pillow I found that works best for me is this inflatable, inflatable pillow. I know it looks big, but this thing works. So what it is, it's almost like a, a vest type thing. So it has this opening for your arm. And what I like to do is either I lean it like this against my chest in the seat, put my seat back, put my arms in, and I can just lean on the pillow like this and just fall out. Um, and then another way that I like to use this pillow is I put my tray down, put the pillow down on the tray, put my arms through, and then I can also just lean forward like this on the side literally like I'm laying on my bed. It's just so comfortable. Um, this one happened to come with a pouch as well. So you deflate it, you roll it up and you throw it into the carry-on. Along with the pillow, I highly recommend an eye mask. This mask is a Bluetooth mask, which is great. It has these little speakers on the inside where your ears fall. Connect this via Bluetooth to your tablet, to your phone play some music. Another must have is a travel blanket. Now in case it gets cold or you just want a little extra privacy to fall asleep, um, you can wrap this around your shoulders and just put it over your head. Another carry on essential is a water bottle. I like the collapsible types because um, I could just fold them up and they don't take a lot of space when I'm not using them, but a regular water bottle is fine. The next topic is a little personal and that's hygiene. After a couple of hours on a plane, you're gonna start feeling icky. And I personally do not want anyone to smell my funky breath or my funky armpits. And I hate not feeling fresh. I'm already on a cramped plane with a lot of people and um, there's just things that I like to pack to make sure that I'm as fresh as possible while on the plane and when I actually land. I feel like there's nothing worse than getting to where you're going and you just feel gross. So there are a couple of things that I like to keep in my carry-on that are gonna keep me fresh. First, I like to carry a small mesh pouch with a change of underwear, some socks, and or compression socks and an extra shirt. If you're on an eight hour flight and you land, you're probably gonna want to change. This is especially essential for parents. More than likely your kids are gonna get dirty. So having some extra pieces of clothing in your carry-on is going to come through in a pinch. Next product I like to keep with me are a couple of wipes. The first type of wipe I like to keep with me are some facial wipes. I like to cleanse my face before I sleep on a plane and when I wake up. Uh, I also like to keep a pack of wet ones. These are antibacterial wipes. I like to use these wipes to sanitize my food tray um, when I'm in the bathroom at the airport and when I'm on the plane. I just like to wipe down surfaces before I go ahead and do what I have to do. And then the last type of wipes are these Cottonelle flushable wipes. These are great to keep your hot spots fresh. Although I'm not sure I would flush these down in an airplane toilet. You just dispose of them like you normally would any other wipe. But um, these are a must have for me. Along with those items, I like to put together a little comfort kit for the plane. In here, I have some hand sanitizers, some lotion, a travel toothbrush, toothpaste, 
Uh, I have my eye drops. Even if you don't wear contact lenses, I recommend um, packing some eye drops because the air on a plane is very dry. So your eyes may get dry, may get red. I also like to carry a small container of my vitamins. In here I keep some B12, my multivitamin, and some fish oil. I also like to keep a little packet of um, emergency in case I start feeling like a little tickle in the back of my throat or I'm feeling like I'm coming down with something while I'm on the plane. In here I also keep some feminine hygiene products such as a tampon, some maxi pads, some panty liners. Um, these are also great along with the extra underwear. I like to make a habit of wearing panty liners when I'm traveling because I can just take this off, put on a new one, and I don't have to worry about changing my underwear altogether. Um, but I will change my underwear if I have a layover or like once I land. But the panty liners are just an added layer of um, cleanliness. And then I also like to carry these feminine um, single wipes. I carry these just in case someone else needs them. Um, if my friends or family needs one or, you know, if there's someone on the plane who happens to need a tampon, a maxi pad. Even if it's not that time of the month for me, I will have these items in case someone else needs it. I also carry a compact mirror and some facial masks. When you're on a plane, your skin is going to get super dry. So while I'm watching a movie and sipping on some wine, I like to luxuriate in a mask or two, depending on the length of my flight. There are so many brands of sheet masks out there and they're all really great. But I just like to carry at least one mask that's going to um, help keep the moisture in my skin or put back some moisture in my skin. And then before I fall asleep on the plane, I love these sleeping masks. Just pop this onto your face right before you fall out. This is going to give your skin a layer of moisture while you're knocked out. So I definitely recommend um, a sleeping mask for the plane and just a regular sheet mask. All right, so let's get to packing. Again, here is the bag. This bag is available on my website in three different colors. The material is waterproof and very, very sturdy. Inside, you can see how much space there is. There is a laptop and tablet sleeve, bunch of different other sleeves for other items, spaces for your pens, wallets, phones, etc. And then in the back here, there is this zippered compartment. Put whatever you like in there. And then the straps are uh, reinforced. So when you first get this bag, the straps will be stiff, but should soften over time. This bag also has two large side pockets as well as two pockets in the front, one with a snap closure and one with a zipper. Again, the very first thing we're gonna put in our bag is our travel wallet. Our tablet can go into the laptop sleeve. This sleeve has a thin lining of cushion so it'll be nice and secure. Next we're going to place our power bank into the side sleeve here, our pouch with all of our cords, our travel pillow that'll go all the way at the bottom. Then we have our pouch with some uh, clothes. If you do not have TSA pre-check, I recommend packing your toiletry bag in your carry-on. It's way easier to take out when you have to go through security. Here I have my headphones in this travel pouch. We're also going to put in our eye mask. Just fold it in half and place it into a side compartment on the inside. A couple of things I didn't mention earlier, I like to 
keep a small hairbrush with some hair ties, as well as a travel sized deodorant. I like to keep this handy in the side pocket of the bag. Here's our water bottle. I'm just gonna place that off to the side. If you're interested in a video on snacks, let me know below. Here we have our lovely comfort kit. That's gonna go here in the front pocket, as well as all of our wipes. I am a big tea drinker, so I like to carry a few tea bags, along with my vitamin C. I pack these in the zippered pocket, along with some chewing gum, and of course, some Kleenex. And that's it, we have everything we need packed. As you can see, it's neat, it's organized, everything is secure. There's still tons of space for other items I may wanna take with me. Typically, I will pack my travel blanket on the top. If not, if there isn't enough space, I just roll it up and secure it between the handles. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Check out our shop if you're looking for some travel accessories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.